Kia ora New Zealand, it's Emma Dilemma here and this week is Mental Health Awareness Week in New Zealand. Um, we all struggle with mental health in different ways. Things that help me is making sure I drink lots of water, try and get outside when it's sunny and talk to people when I'm feeling like bleh. It's Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, it should be Mental Health Awareness Week every week of the year. Um, and I just wanted to give a huge shout out and lots of love to all the people right now that are going through a difficult time. I just want to show my support for Mental Health Awareness Week this week. Uh, it's something that we all go through, but we don't often speak about. Hey, so uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, there are so many layers to this that I guess I'd prefer to address. Um, those friends and whanau who are struggling with a loved one going through mental health issues or struggling to understand how to help. Um, there are lots of tools out there also for you to acquire um, to maybe feel like you're better equipped to deal with some situations or circumstances. For Mental Health Awareness Week, I wanted to share with you a small parable that I remind myself of when things are going tough or to remember to be grateful when things are going well. And that is, this too shall pass. The idea is that everything ends. Whether it's good or bad, it comes to a conclusion. So, when things are good, it's important to remain grateful for what's going on and for what you enjoy about it. And when things are bad, and when things are dark, it's to remind yourself that sooner or later, dawn will break and things will get better. Uh, just a shout out to Mental Health Awareness Week this week. Um, I've suffered from a fair bit of social anxiety in my life. And I've always just found that speaking to people closest to me has helped a lot, even when I'm out about and my brain is getting overloaded. Just mentioning it to somebody helps a lot. I read somewhere to not compare day one of your own personal journey to day 100 of someone else's. And remember, you never really truly know what's going on in anyone else's life. You can start your day again at any time and don't be afraid to fail, like me trying to rollerblade. For me, I'm lucky enough to have lucky enough to have music and a creative outlet. I think that anything sort of creative, anything that takes you out of your own mind, and whether it's music or art or photography or editing, film, you know, cinema, just to have something that lets you escape a little bit is, is creatively is really helpful for me. Many hands make light work, and just reaching out to someone can make all the difference. So. Someone who you're close to, or just Google Mental Health Support New Zealand, and there are heaps of services you can reach out to. Um, a favourite of mine being 1737. You can text that number or call that number whenever you need to talk to someone, um, and they will reply and give you the support that you need. I want to shout out to everyone out there who's been struggling recently. It's been a really tough two years, and um, I hope you can find something in music or in your life that you can focus on that connects to your happiness and connects to your health. Lots of love. If you're going through a tough time, just remember, tomorrow's a new day. If you can, go for a walk, go for a run, try and get outside. Peace. Talk about it if you're suffering and um, yeah, stay safe. So um, please go and find that support if you need it and look after yourselves too. Take care everyone. Much love. Bless you and um, stay strong. Much, much love. Look after yourself.